Okay, so guys done? Oh. Okay, so what I'm gonna have you guys do is you guys are pretty much in a group that you like to be with your sat where you wanted to sit today, right? Feel comfortable with your group. So what I'd like you guys to do is to discuss it with your group. Okay, and then discussing means you guys actually have to talk to each other, you know, and then see if you guys can get any further along. Okay, you have a group. We'll find a group. Don't be shy. We're missing uh, quite a few people. Did I scare them all the way to the first one? Second. Mm. I made this one in front of the group. Yeah. <laughs>
I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do this. 
get 13 as our outcome for this group. Anything to do with the coin? Oh, hear a lot of discussion. I see a lot of lone wolves. Now, you guys got to get out of this pride thing, right? There's that there's one thing you've got to get rid of, right? It's okay to sit there and work in groups and talk to each other, you know? It's okay. Interact with them. Yeah. They may be able to help you with it.
So I'm going to give you guys five more minutes. Five more minutes. What's that? Yeah, I put an extra credit. I mean, I put an extra. All right, I put an extra question on the.
You just add a whole bunch of stuff. What was that? Did you just add a lot of stuff out there? Uh, did a whole bunch of stuff pop up? I don't see it. Yeah. <laughs> No, her, uh, her cousin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't want you to go. When I'm ready for you guys to get there. So I close the door. It's because it did pop up. Belly, belly. Okay. Sorry, you guys still incompetent. Oh. We had me. We had you. Yeah. That was the only one that was disappointing. Everything else was good. Let's talk. Yeah. Let's talk about it. <laughs> so we'll start with the first one. The first steps. Right now, what we have. Yeah. Okay, so we have what? Nitrogen and oxygen? Yeah. Okay. How many nitrogens do we have on the reactant side? Two. How many oxygens? Okay, on the product side. Okay, is that balanced? No. Okay, so what do we do? For the five in front of oxygen? Yeah. Okay. And then I turn to 10. Okay. And then we put a two in front of nitrogen. So are we balanced? No. no. And then I have a two in front of nitrogen. Right. Okay. This one. So, the first thing we're going to do is put that in the lab, right? Okay. On the reactive side, how many carbons? Four. How many hydrogens? Ten. How many oxygen? Three. On the product side, how many carbons? Four. Hydrogens? Three. Is that right? Yes. Is it balanced? No. Okay, what do I need to do to balance it? Four in front of carbon. Put a four in front of carbon. Okay, so that would give me four carbons. And then how many oxygens? With five here. Oh, yeah. Oh, what do you say? Go, go ahead. Oh, yeah. So that was hydrogen. I would have um, five. Yeah, five. Yeah. Okay, so then I would give me 10. 13, right? Okay, so then I would have put 13. 8 plus 5. You know, what I did was on the Reactive side, right? I put 13 over 3. 13 over 3. So 13 over 3 on the oxygen. Yes. Okay. And then and I put. That would give me 13 oxygens, right? And then I put the grapes, right? 
Why you have to multiply by three instead of two? Yeah, it's a cancel. That's right. Okay, so what are two minimal components of a solution? Solvents and solvents. Hey, divide each. So if I make a Kool-Aid, a little packet, is that going to be the solute or the solvent? Okay, so complete this image. A. B. Question number four. How can I get one point of extra credit for each of these? And the benefit is, is that, of course, we have Angelia, but there's going to be three, two other tutors, three or four other tutors that are going to be also via Mesa. Or at least till June. Oh, it doesn't matter. It would be Mauricio, Julia, and so maybe four when they have four. So because they they're all trying to get a little bit of cash before they move on. Yeah. Okay. Questions, concerns, cash. Okay, pretty simple, not too hard so far. You guys have that look. Are you guys understanding balancing chemical equations? So, last we left off, we didn't finish all of the problems. Is that correct? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let you guys finish all the problems, and then we're going to finish chapter two. 
We're going to start chapter three, so you want to make sure that you read chapter three and chapter five by Monday. Okay, chapter three and chapter five by Monday. Okay. Okay, everybody got this down. And I want to remind you, this is a summer course, so if you miss one day, that can set you back by nature. That means you got to miss some extra work. Okay, so try not to miss any days. You know, it will set you back. No, So we had a couple groups that were going to do our next one, so we stopped at four. So who volunteered to do four? And I have a volunteer for four. Yeah. Uh, markers. Uh, 
So that would be three. Yes. So we did it Put it right so that is that is that how you would write it? Okay, so you want to verify that are you verified? Okay. So the Everybody see that? Is that what everyone got? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's do number five. Let's do number five for us. Number five. Let's do number five. Can you do it? Okay. Who was in line to do number six? Either volunteer or be voluntold. Yeah, you did. You don't have to hand them out. You just stay right where you are. Yeah. 
So that that'd be three. It would be this plus this plus this. So that plus is like and, you know? Okay. No, no, no. That doesn't explain anything. Well, I'm just saying it because when you write it down, you want to make sure that you write down your chemical equation correctly. Yeah. And when you're starting um, to, somebody's telling you, you know, in words, a chemical equation, they say this and this reacts, right? So that means that that's going to be in your reactant side, right? There's two different things going to be in the reactant side. You know, if I said sodium chloride and water reacts, right? Then you put sodium chloride plus what? Can you guys hear? Yeah, she put those there. Just and like yeah, yeah, just oh, okay. they're not required. So it's understood if there's nothing there, it's understood to be a one. But you can also put ones there just to let yourself be reminded. Of. It won't be. Okay, so you guys are ready? Number number six. You guys are ready? Okay, so we need number eight and number nine. Number eight and number nines. Anybody volunteer? Anybody volunteer number nine? You guys should be able to do number nine, wasn't it? It was on the test, right? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I mean, on the quiz. <clears throat> oh my god! Imagine if you had done it last night, you know? You'll do number nine. Oh, so. <laughs> Are you from here? Where do you live here? I live in Hanford. Oh, yeah. Have you tried that chicken wing place, Jefferson? Oh, yeah. Where's Jefferson? That's good, huh? I drove in a break. I see the one inside. Very good. Is there any chocolate in the wing? I doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> they oh, yeah. oh, really? okay. Big lots? Yeah. Okay, so I'll try it. Because I mean, there's like a lot of them so far. I've not been impressed with them. Oh, no. These, I drove for friends. So. I like to eat, so they <laughs> 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 You guys may have to write a little bit smaller because uh, you've got to be able to see it. Why? But that's a good sign. That means that you guys are confident. When you write that big, you're confident. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, 
And then just that written down the way that it is. So we'll come back to six. Okay. Uh, so who is doing number eight? Excellent. Okay, wait, wait. The left hand side is what? Okay, what is a product? Let me ask you. Wait, wait, wait. Before you guys, I just want to, anybody, a product. What is a product? What was that? It's the stuff that's finished, right? That arrow means that it's going to make that, right? So that's called the yield sign. That arrow means yield, you make, right? So on this side, right, that's going to be our product, okay? The other side is called? Okay, get that down, okay? So, yeah. So then um, our, our product side, we added to board about 2008. Mm 
I'm making you explain it. I know you guys hate me. It's okay. I don't mind if you hate me, right? By the time you get out of here, you're going to be able to explain what you're doing. Because if you can explain what you're doing, that means you know it. If you can't explain what you're doing, you don't know it, right? Okay. So, last one. You guys gonna, are you guys ready? We're going to have you guys go ahead and then we'll do the last one. Number nine. I no, I was in that. I don't know, like, okay, so let's I mean, it's, it's not. It's yeah, we're Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So this is uh, Cameron and uh, Jesse. They'll be here till the end of June. Uh, and so they're going to be kind of helping me get the lab together and organized. And uh, they also are great at chemistry. They, they were all in the same class together. They all took all my chem classes. So, you know, I, I can't get rid of them. They just keep coming back. They keep coming back. Actually, they're getting ready to go to Texas. What, what is the university in? Uh, okay. So, and did you guys have a dining room? No. Say it again. Sam Houston State University. Okay. okay. So, Sam Houston State. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so they'll be leaving us here. When you guys officially leave? July. July. Okay. So, Wherever I'm texting for. <laughs> it's also very cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Cost of living is significantly cheaper than it is. I want to try to do that. Give me one second. <laughs> so you have a lot of resources. Have you noticed? You guys have tutors and more tutors that are coming on board and everything like that. So there's really no reason why anybody should fail this class, right? 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 right. Okay, good. Okay. And you definitely want to take advantage of all of the opportunities that you guys are presenting. Okay. So if you go to your canvas shell, uh, you guys, you guys have access or oh. There is an icon in the corner that make a reference to groups. It'll be three people together. Um, Give sister. Okay, did everybody find the group icon? It literally says groups under if you have the laptop. Yeah, I 
Okay, so if you guys will still be along here, it doesn't show up online because I have a structure for some reason. You know, we're not allowed to be so so it'll say group over here. So you guys want to click on that. Okay, so who was it that needed laptops again? To get into groups. So you see your group members. Actually, no, if you go to the side, it, there should be a little thing that says groups. That's where I want you to yeah, right um, there. Right there. I wonder what you mean. Mine didn't pop up. Yours didn't pop up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, so your group project consists of three, well, actually, technically, it's four things. The first thing is going to be a parity. Okay, so if you guys take a look at it, you have a, a genre and music genre, and then you have your topic. So, for instance, Guillermo is country and dimensional analysis. Okay, so his genre, the type of music that he's going to be making, is going to be country, right? So you're going to make a parody about dimensional analysis, right? So that means that you have to figure out what dimensional analysis is, right? And you want to start now because when we get there, you know, it's like, okay, okay, yeah, I get it now, right? And it will make more sense. And so what you're doing, you're going to make a short parody, it'll be two and a half minutes of some country music. Anybody has what is really popular country song? Right? I just know what I like. I can think of. Like oh, dirt. I'm gonna do Kelly Clarkson. By dirt. Yeah. By dirt. Okay. So by dirt. I don't know how it goes or anything like that, but you go by dirt. You know, um, and you use the the uh, background to buy dirt to talk about <laughs> dimensional analysis, and you want it to be accurate. The stuff that you're saying, it has to be truthful, right? It has to be kind of fun, right? Or sad. It should get some type of emotion out of it, right? We had a group, I had a group last semester, they had almost did it in tears, and they were talking about electron configuration. I'm like, man, I'm crying about electron configuration. It was a really sad song. I'm like, damn, okay. And so, but you want to get some type of uh, interaction out of the people. And it's going to be a video, right? And then, uh, so my friends, I had another group that did, I can't remember, I think it was Asset and Basis, and uh, they had reggaeton. And it was the funniest video ever. I had such a, a laugh out of it, right? And so you want to try to get people interested, right? Get, you know, interested. That's always getting them interested, right? Okay, so that's the first part. The second part of it is a presentation. You guys are going to teach a class on how to do dimensional analysis. Okay, so that topic is what you're going to teach them. So Guillermo and his group is going to teach us about dimensional analysis. So that's going to be a 20 minute presentation with five minutes of questions. So that's a total of 25 minutes that you have to get this in. So you have 20 minutes to convey information. So you guys need to be accurate, sharp, you know, okay. And then the last part of it is a page. So a canvas page. Do me a favor if you guys would go and select that you're sorry, doing the research in the chat. You go to it, it says pages, click pages. That's where you're going to put your page, right? So if you guys have gone through your little group, that's where you're going to put your page. It, if you hit plus page, it'll actually start your page. Okay, you don't see it? I'll walk around. That's out. So, yeah, yeah, you got it. You're good. Okay, so go to groups. Go to groups. Okay, there you go. Okay, now I want you guys to notice. Now, this is the thing that pisses me off. I'll just tell you right now. Things are driving me crazy. Formatting, right? You guys notice how chemical equations are formatted, right? You guys have this beautiful <laughs> equation. This is called what is it? <laughs> substrate, right? So this is the substrate, right? This is called the what? Coefficient. Now, what students will do is when they're writing, typing their chemical equations, they won't make a substrate. They will just write it up here. That's wrong, right? It means something entirely different. Don't do that. There's no reason that you should be able to do that because guess what? You can do formatting, right? And I get pissed. I get really upset. I start just knocking off points immediately because that means that you're lazy. You didn't do what you're supposed to do. It drives me fucking crazy, right? I don't like it, you know? So take the time, write it the way it's supposed to be. It's written that way for a reason, right? So make sure you write it that way for a reason. 
And so play with the format, learn how to do format. That is a very valuable tool. Any job you get into, that means that you're a quality worker. People look at that and they're like, oh, she's good. You know, she did the right format. I didn't have to tell her that she needed to do the right format. She already knows it, right? Okay, so you guys have a page. So I believe it's 5,000 words, something like that, 5,000 characters. That's a little bit But you have a, a, quite a bit of words that you have to get done, right? And so at the end of the day, if there are three components, there's a parody, there's a page, and then there's a presentation, okay? The presentation, again, will be 20 minutes. Everybody in your group has to participate in the presentation, right? You guys should all be participating in the parody, right? And you should all be participating in the page. Now, when you guys are writing the page, it's okay that you guys write independently. But at some point, you guys need to get together and read it so it flows and it makes sense. I hate when I get chalky writing, right? I should not be able to distinguish between your writing and somebody else's writing because you guys have taken the time to make it flow together, mesh together, right? And there shouldn't be any typos. There's no reason for typos to exist, even though I make ask all the time on my test. But you guys don't make any typos because you're trying to impress me, right? Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay, so we want to eliminate those because I will knock you off the pipers. Okay, so I will give you an actual rubric, rubric, what I will be training you guys on. Right, and I'll make some modifications to the one that I'm currently using because I want to add a lot more because there are certain things that came up last semester. Yes. Okay. Any questions? Now, start on this today, right? This is going to be done in the last week of the class, right? The presentation. Right, your parody, it has to be done by last week of class. Now, that doesn't mean that you wait three days before the class ends to start doing it because that's typically what happens, right? And so we want to prevent that from happening because we want you guys to give me quality material because your quality material will make it easy for another one of our classes. So, but we can um, actually bring up my Yeah, that's what I'm here for. And that's what I'm telling you guys to work on it. Yeah. Doing a different topic. No, I like your topics. I, I was, you know, tactful and looking out your topics. I was so happy to be about electronic configuration. <laughs> Did you know electronic configuration? <laughs> okay, questions? Concerns? Ash? Good. Okay. Okay, so there are a couple things that we need to discuss um, before. I had walked around. You guys know that every day you guys technically are going to have lab, right? Every day. Now, are you guys all dressed appropriately for lab every day? York? Everybody? My shoes in the car because I was very late. Mm. I left them in the car. Mm. I switch at break. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. So, what should you have on your feet? Closed toe shoes. Closed toe shoes. Should our backs be open? Should we have flip flops or sandals? No. no. So if you come again to my class with flip flops, sandals, back open, shoes, I will send your ass out. Bye. Right? And that means that you're not going to get that lab done until you get those shoes, right? Yeah, I'll send you to go get your shoes. But so you know, do not come to class with open toes, flip flops, or anything. First part of class is fine. You have them in the car. Always carry an extra pair of shoes in the car. It doesn't hurt to carry an extra pair of shoes in general, because let me tell you, occasionally you'll spill acid on stuff, and then you're like, oh, don't want to wear that, right? So just carry an extra pair just to be prepared. This is a chemistry class. I'm here for your protection. You're wearing it for your protection. I don't want you to lose a toe. Okay. Okay, questions? Concerns. Today is fortunate. We're going to be doing our lab outside. Okay. So we're going to be doing a Mentos lab. Have you guys heard of the Mentos experiment or the yes. Mentos? Yeah, you do. Okay. Well, you guys are going to do it today, right? Yeah, that's amazing. So this is going to be your very first formal lab report, right? What do I mean by a formal lab report? Did you guys get that little handout with the lab notebook or the lab, lab report, right? So this one. Oh, 
Okay. So, in a formal lab report, you need to have all of these elements. Okay. Now, your data is the only thing that you should be taking pictures of and have. Everything else has to be typed up, nicely written, you know, and understandable. If you have images, every image that you have there should have a title and a label and a little description as to what is going on. Okay. You guys are clear? Every image, okay. Okay, so your very first lab, I mean, your very first lab, second lab, your second lab, the Spencer's lab, is going to have a formal lab. Okay, you also are going to share your data with the class. So I'm going to have a, a link for you guys to click onto. The link that I have in your lab may not be the same link that I'm going to be giving, giving you guys since I have a fresh lab. Okay. Are you guys ready to do lab today? Yes. Or you will be ready to do lab here in 15 minutes. So we're going to take a 15 minute break and we'll come back and we'll start the lab. Okay. Yes, yeah, you're doing it with your group. Um, the last one was just to get you guys started. But actually, uh, I, I need to show you how to do it. Oh, so right. I just did it. Did it? Yeah, so now it works. Okay, no problem. Okay, so I need you to get your pen and paper. Yes, I'm going to get my pen and paper. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get our pen and paper. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get our pen and then, so now you know about the shoes, right? Yeah, I just, I took my last semester class, like, it was separated, like, the lab and the lecture. Yeah. And so when it was, like, like lab, that's where I asked for, like, co-exalted. So mm -hmm. I didn't know if it was, like, an actual lab. Yeah, every day, okay. day you go to lab. So, but, you know, today. So, don't worry, we have goggles and lab coats for you. So you just said so. You don't have to worry about it. Hey, so I need you guys to get this in the starting point for how to. So, what's going to go to the first day? Oh, not yet. I was supposed to go in the fall, but um, I'm sure I'm going to have to go to the next year. So, so you got one thing? Yeah. I think I accepted it. Uh, yeah, I already graduated from here, but then I continued to take the class. So over there, that's not medical school, is it no? It's not med school, yeah. I'm getting a bachelor's. This is an option for them to because they actually want doctors, so they're actually making it very cheap. <laughs>
Right. Always write it correct. That's always 
Number one mistake. Okay. So we have five. So the total will be at three. So right now, how can I make it so that we have three? So then, three, and then this is also okay. So, how can I make it so that this over here is okay? Okay, so then that would be three, and then that would be three. Well, for this one, I thought like each place will update. Remember, so that's next to the list. This is next to the list. Okay, so let's talk.
He gave us a hard job with that. Oh, you're with him? That's hard, yeah. He could have gave us like conversions or, I mean, he could have gave us. Um, electron configuration, I could have ASAP. Yeah. That's simple, right? Yeah. You want to give us our own? You should have given us um, down the equation. Oh, right. that's what I have. What do you do? Huh? That's what you got? Yeah. <laughs> this is hard. That was the hardest one. Don't you think that's the hardest topic? For me, no, it was electron configuration. Was a little hard. I love that. <laughs> Girl, I, I, I said, well, I, that way I was serious. I was serious. You know about that? All I, can never is, before. all I can do is do the, this PowerPoint. I can do some good um, slides, though. So. Yeah. You can do that for your presentation, actually. Yeah, I can do I can do the presentation, but I can do some good stuff. Like I'm not, I got I should be a graphic designer. You know, I'm I should have actually used the five-hour points last week. No, I can do that. I do a lot of that stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Because sometimes I'll be trying to figure out what to do, like how to do it this way, and I have to go to Google and talk about the business model. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Do you think you're going to do this analysis stuff? It's hard enough. It is. So our test is um you can always if you have fill in the answers. Yeah. Not just voice Not just voice notes. <laughs> need to be over there. They can't be oh. at your desk. <laughs> Put it in your bag, yeah.
And actually, we did that for our uh, classes. Yeah. 
I just like her. Do I get crazy like her now? Yeah, but I like it. She no shame. She loves it. She are large test tubes right so what you guys are going to do is that you want to put your mentos in here you're going to have them so that they're all oriented the exact the same way and levels you don't want them crunched up or anything like that because that's going to be important and what i recommend is you guys do, do you guys have your ids any of ids right you take your id a card something that's kind of firm normally i have flash charge which i don't have right now so then you're going to flip it over put it towards the end of your id right and then you're going to open up your soda and then you're just going to pull this back let the menthol drop in and then remove this out of the way right 
we don't want to let the soda get in there because then you can't use it again, right? And it also messes up the experiment, right? Okay, so one of you guys is going to be responsible for doing this. Somebody's going to be responsible for measuring the height, right? And what I recommend that you guys do, I, I like using the outside of the building, use the bricks, right? Because then that way you can sit there and roughly estimate how far the bricks are from each other. And so if it's higher than what, than what you guys are, then you're able to sit there and get a rough estimate of how high it actually is. Sometimes it goes really high, sometimes it doesn't, it all depends. So it just depends on the soda, you know, the lot of soda that we get. Sometimes it just depends on how hot it is outside. And so those are some of the things that I want you guys to think about, okay? Everybody has a lab, right? The Mentos lab? Handed it out yesterday. When they handed out yesterday. Somebody needs to keep track of the time, right? So the time, the measurement, the distance. So, yeah, time, measurement, and the temperature, right? Because you need the temperature of the solutions before and after, right? So, and then you're going to see how fast it's going to the bottom. Except Mentos, so sorry. You guys will need a total of three packs of Mentos. So in the uh, the Pepsi, okay, in the Pepsi and the, the Diet Pepsi, you're gonna put a pack, each gets their own pack, right? The seltzer, that's gonna get half a pack, okay? The pH, pH, pH strips. Uh, if you look in the, uh, you, you'll see lab drawer, LH, or it'll say L, right? L, L something. So, yep. and using that top one, it'll be the first one or the second one. There'll be this little. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you say one or just the whole two? Because you're going to need to take three of them, right? So you need at least three. Do we only so I would take the two out? with me. Okay, I would take the two with me, okay. you know, because in that way you'll be able to tell the pH, right? Yeah. Okay, y'all. Okay. 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 Okay
And the best way of determining that is like when you guys take the temperature, you're gonna have like a drip of it. So just take that drip and just drop it onto the pH strips, right? So then that way you're not sticking it in there. Did everybody get Mentos? You got three packs? Okay. 